Welcome to this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Circleize Component tool. With the tool, you can turn selected vertices, edges or faces into perfect circles. To start with, select the vertices, edges or faces you want to circularize. I'm going to choose faces. As you can see, I've already made my selection. You're going to want to then select Edit Mesh, Circleize from the Modeling menu set, or hold Shift and right click and select Circularize Components. The selected components are then converted into a circle. Note that you must select at least three vertices of the edges circularized is performed on each closed edge loop. There's a bunch of settings to play around with, so let's get started. Normal offset adjusts the initial extrusion amount based on the average normal of the selected components. I'm just going to bring mine out a little bit like that. Radial offset adjusts the initial radius of the circle. Normal orientation determines which set of component normals are average to orient the circle. It's either going to be faces or edge loops. Next there's twist, and twist determines how much rotation is applied to the components around the centre of the circle. Relaxed interior adjusts the space in between components so they stay within the circle while remaining evenly spaced. Lower values will enforce components' original spacing. Alignment determines how the resulting circle will be orientated relative to the chosen components. Automatic, the circularized components are rotated based on the average normal directions of selected components, and selecting surface, the circularized components conform to the surface of the original shape. The evenly distribute setting specifies whether or not circularized vertices are evenly distributed on the circle circumference. Add divisions adds additional vertices to the current selection, which results in smoother circles. And finally, supporting edges adds edges to the vertices along the circle's circumference. This can be used to help avoid n-gons by converting n-gons into tries. The most common settings you'll probably be changing are normal offset, twist, and radius settings. However, it's useful to know what the other ones do. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.